Okay, reading part two. There seems to be a lot of questions here. So something like 26 questions. Start the clock. And our topic is bird migration. Blah, 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 blah. Some species are well adapted to harsh conditions, but those that aren't move south is advantageous. So, birds moving south, that's migration, isn't it? The current state of research suggests that all the above mentioned methods have an influence on bird migration. So, methods which influence bird migration? Different species use one, some or even all the methods at different times. Okay, bird migration, I don't think I need to read anymore. Seems to be very obvious. Paragraph 1, it's understood that some birds don't migrate because they... I think I read that, didn't I? Some species are well adapted to harsh conditions. Mm. So... Are adapted to conditions suit the conditions. The word those refers to... Some species are well adapted, but for those that aren't, those species. Some species are, but some species that aren't species. Contrapara 2. What are the results of changes in the weather? Change in the length of day? What? No, that can't be right. Birds secrete hormones? Maybe. Spend calories. Mm. And migration starts. Well, this one seems to be the obvious answer. Anyway, changes in the weather can trigger the start of the journey south. Changes in the weather, changes in the weather, trigger the start of the journey south. Well, that's that one, no? Oops. That's right. The word accumulate is closest in meaning to... <coughs> At this time, fat starts to accum accumulate under the skin, providing energy. Build up, that seems right. Fill in, break up, cut back. Fat fills in under the skin. Uh, accumulate to build up. All of the migration patterns are mentioned in the passage except migration north from the south, east or west towards mild climates, from mountains to lower altitudes, from east or west towards hotter climates. Uh, it seems to be one of these, I mean, I would guess. Da -na -na -na. Patterns, complex birds that breathe in the south migrate north, south to north, from south to north, yes. Other birds travel east west since milder climates can be found in coastal areas, so they're going towards milder climates. Some birds find conditions more suitable at lower altitudes to lower altitudes, so there is your answer. The word precisely is closest in meaning to. Well, I don't really know what that means, but let's see if we can. The most mysterious, not understood aspect of bird migration is how they navigate such long distances and arrive so precisely at their destination. So, mystery is how they navigate a long distance and arrive so precisely. So finally they arrive, so finally, so entirely. What, like, only some of them arrives? So decisively, yes, they make big decisions, these birds. I think if you don't know what precisely means, um, which I think most people do, means exactly, you can just say, 
arrive finally, arrive entirely, arrive decisively, none of these really make sense. So, exactly at their destination. It can be inferred. Inferencing. So it's not going to say this, but polarization patterns. Polarization. Can you see it? Aha, polarization. Further possibilities that birds can detect the polarization patterns in sunlight. Some light waves from the sun are absorbed in the atmosphere and some pass through. The resulting pattern of light forms a large bow tie shape in the sky. Mm -hmm. So the polarization pattern, this pattern absorbs sunlight. The pattern absorbs sunlight, no. pattern doesn't, the atmosphere does. This pattern is tied in the center. It's a, it's a pattern. You can't tie a pattern. The polarization patterns are invisible at night. Well, because they're made out of sunlight, light waves from the sun, you're not going to see them at night. Clearly that's right. Again, the answer is not here, but we have to use our knowledge of the world to guess that, well, these are caused by light and so, at night, we can't see them. Why does the author mention Haydinger's brush? This looks like that analogy from the Ice Age one, where they had a, a disc that used to describe the motion of the, uh, the orbit of the Earth. So this is probably some kind of analogy to describe or explain or maybe even define one of these. But anyway, let's check. Haydinger, Haydinger, Haydinger. Polarization, Haydinger. <coughs> so this bow tie shape, the image has fuzzy ends and is sometimes known as Haydinger's brush. So the image is known as Haydinger's brush after the discoverer. That un helps us to understand it? No. Describes the pattern. Yeah. I guess the fuzzy ends like a brush describes the pattern. Explain what birds see. It's not really explaining anything. Define the fuzzy define the funny. Tell me the meaning of fuzzy ends. No. Describe the pattern. Thirty-two minutes. I'm doing okay. The word subjected is closest in meaning to Scientists believe that some birds navigate with these stars. This has been established with at least one species. In a series of studies, caged birds were subjected to the projection of the nighttime northern hemisphere inside a planetarium. Subjected to the projection. So birds in a cage were shown a projection of the, the stars were shown it, they were exposed to it, yes, subjugated, no, constrained, no, invited, clearly they were shown. Paragraph 6, how do some birds navigate during the night? By using a projection of the stars? <laughs> clearly that's not right. By circling around the pole star? Well, good luck with that. By orienting themselves using the constellations, that seems all right. By getting their bearings from a few visible stars. Oh, do they know constellations? Groups of stars? Probably that one. Let's have a look. Scientists believe that some birds navigate by the use of star positions, blah, protection, all stars rotate, the pole star, this movement, information... They need to orient themselves. However, some recent research contradicts this. Perhaps it's not the lack of movement, but rather the constellation patterns that guide them. Constellation patterns. Boom. We 
which of the sentences below best expresses the essential information in the highlighted sentence? Mm, tricky stuff, this. All stars rotate around Polaris, comma, the pole star. We've got that comma, comma. So that's the north, the northern star, the one that doesn't move. This movement, this rotation, seems to give the birds information they need to orient, that means orientate, find their de direction in the correct direction. To so move their bodies in the correct direction. Birds needing to orientate themselves in the, su in, in the right direction seem to use the information they get from the stars that rotate around Polaris. From the stars... That seems right. The pulsar seems to be used by birds to get the information they need because they were able to orient themselves in the star's rotation. No, the star doesn't rotate. Birds need to correct the, correct the polaris direction. How are they going to change the direction of a star? The star's rotating in the correct direction. The correct direction. No, this is clearly right. The word this refers to what? This too implies that the general star pattern does have so this information. It's not the lack of movement, but rather the constellation patterns. It's also been found that when the fewer stars were visible, the bird's sense of direction became poorer. This fact implies the general pattern does have some bearing on orientation. Yes, so the fact that they lose their sense of direction, they lost their sense of direction. Look at the four squares. Over short, short distances, the birds could recognize landscapes such as rivers, valleys, shapes of hills. So the most mysterious and not totally understood aspect of bird is how birds navigate. Various possibilities exist. Over short distances, the birds could recognize landscapes. The most obvious explanation is that they learn the topographic features. I think if we click on that, hello, relating to the natural features. So here we've got landscapes, rivers, hills, natural features. That seems to be the same thing. However, it's not feasible that the missile could be used for crossing larger stretches of water. Short stretches, larger stretches. Do that one, it seems, yes. So introduce topographic features. Talk about examples of that. Yep. That's right. Okay, an introductory sentence is provided below. Complete the summary by selecting three answers that express the most important ideas. Some sentences do not belong, so three things which are the most important ideas. This is where taking notes would be good. Most important ideas. Changes in weather trigger... well, do we have three paragraphs? Because if we've got three paragraphs, that seems like three ideas. Nope, we've got five. One, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be a little bit more difficult than that. But in the conclusion, it talks about methods influencing bird migration. So we're looking at methods that influence bird migration. Da -da -da -da. Changes in the weather start bird migration. Bird migration patterns are co more complex. Alright, they seem to be linked, they seem to be similar. Nothing special there. Mysterious is how they can navigate, so ways of navigation. Way of navigation one, topographic. Magnetic, is that right? Magnetic fields, ways of navigation. Light, that's another way of navigation and star positions, another way of navigation. So we've got three or four different ways of navigation. Hmm. I 
would say that is one. Changes in both the weather and the length of day. No. No, I don't want the star patterns. I would say these three. No feedback? Yeah, because uh, polarization, star patterns, and topographical features. These are all different ways, I would say. Yay! Doing really well. Still got 13 questions, though. Ah, we have another reading text. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Stop the clock.